How does a calculator get the answer to arithmetic problems? Beep bop, beep bop, here's the answer. So, um, here's the inside of a calculator. There's a processor chip, this, this, the display, that's the screen, the back of the keys, and these are the keyboard sensors that sense if you press the key or not, the on-off switch, and many other things. Now let's look at binary codes, or you could say binary signals. Each number has a binary signal. Zero, it means no current, no flowing current. And one means there's flowing current. That's how the current inside the calculator shows what binary number needs to be needed. So inside the calculator, all everything mainly gets converted into binary signals to be to be um calculated and also um it, it has to be converted into binary a binary signal so that so that the so that the processor chip and the current could understand better nothing gets confusing because current can only do th two things no flowing current flowing current what else is there so, so to, for example, if if it if the current wants to show three, if that's zero zero one one, it'll do no current, no current, flowing current, flowing current. And let's learn about the processor chip and logic gates. The processor chip is the processor chip is a chip, a small chip in the calculator. That, that does all the calculation calculations but how does it do it the here are two examples of logic gates you could see the inputs and outputs of the logic gates inside the processor chip so the logic so the logic gates so the logic gates do mainly do all the calculations there's a logic gate for each there's a logic gate for each operation here's an ex here are two examples an AND gate and an OR gate. For the AND gate, there has to be current coming in, in both inputs for current to come out of the output. And for o the OR gate, there has to be current coming in at least one of the inputs for current to come in um, the output. And here is how it works. Let's say we want to do 3 plus 2 equals 5. So when you press 3, there's a binary signal for 3. And current does no, no current, no current, current, current. It, it goes to the processor chip. And now processor chip. It got that which binary, which binary signal it was. Then when you press plus, there is also, there's also a binary signal for plus. It just doesn't show it on the chart. So it there, it sends the bin, the current sends the binary signal for plus, and it gets sent to the processor chip. And then when you press two. It, there's a binary signal for two, and that's zero zero one zero. So there's a so it does. No current, no current, no current, current, no current, and that gets sent to the processor chip. Now this is when everything starts working. So um, the processor chip uses multiple logic gate, all the logic gates it has to, um, to perform. It uses the logic gates to perform the operations. So, so, so mainly inside the processor chip, the logic gates do the calculations. And then when it gets the answer, it will come out as a binary signal. And then it will get sent to the display. Behind the display, it will get sent. And, um, and... Here, and here's and here's the display that's the screen 
so this then so over here the it gets converted into a not a number a number using seven segments here are the seven segments it could show any number by lighting up uh, a few of the segments each set you could each of the segments are made up of tiny light bulbs so there's seven tiny light bulbs now here is zero you could you could see here that some of the well, that here some of the light bulbs are some of the light bulbs are lighting up so that they could show zero and if you, and if you look close you might kind of see that there are eights here cuz that's those are the cuz those are the seven segments so it could show any number by lighting lighting up these it could show 4 lighting up these it could show 5 it could show any number and there are multiple of them to show to show the more digits and here's how it gets converted into a number and for my conclusion after my research, I learned that a calculator converts numbers into binary signals of electric current and uses a processor chip containing logic gates to get the answer to arithmetic problems. I also learned that digital display is used for displaying the input numbers and the result by using seven segments. And you know how it does that very fast? You know, current, current the calculator calculates very fast like in one like in one second or less because current is very fast and it is current is the thing that's doing everything inside the calculator and that's how the calculator works before people here's the answer b i put i put this answer because beep i, I kind of I kind of think it as one and bob i kind of think it as zero so one zero one zero Here's the answer. Or you could say, flowing current, no flowing current, flowing current, no flowing current. Here's the answer. Because that's what main, because binary numbers is the thing that's mainly used inside calculators. Not just calculators, many other electronics, like iPads, tablets, and, also, and even computers, and TVs. Many things are used with binary numbers. I mean, not binary numbers, binary codes. And that's how binary codes are are very helpful, even though it's their only they're either no flowing current or flowing current. And that's how the calculator works.